Good morning, people. It's 5 a.m. here on the farm. I'm just about, I'm just getting up. I'm just about to make a cup of. So, Ginger's channel has been struck as well. So it's mine and Ginger's channel struck. So, and he's been closed down. So, it's obvious to anyone who's done it, considering the beasts of York and JJ and all them are still up and running, aren't they? Who's doing it? Um, it's Ginger and myself who argue on with bird shit. Who's, it's us two who said what channel shut down. So I, think, I would think it's obvious who's done it. But for whatever reasons, um, Ginger is blaming. Now, Tony, I don't think this is Tony. I'll never be friends with him again, but I don't think this is him. This is Davy Eslop and the Freemans and that. How the fuck can he say that? When he knows for a fact who should, he should be pointing the finger at he. Why the What's he up to? Anyway, should I tell you, for my money, he's fucking shit himself since them pamphlets what got used on the poster campaign with Dogoin have turned up in the photos. So we know now it's an arid doing to them. So we're going through it. The facts, I, 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 we're going through the facts that we know for sure if the Dogoin poster campaign what we know of Ashua. Tony has made a video claiming that when him and Pizza Face met Ginger in motorsports at the Asda car park, that he videotaped them and audio taped them. He's made a video saying this. I video audio taped you admitting he's wanted he's has paid so much money for five thousand pamphlets for and Dogoin poster campaign and he's also said he videoed the actual posters in Motorsports' boot so in better life Tony's got them tapes when he's met them in the Yazda car park they have had Ginger and Motorsports have had the posters when they have met them and Tony's videotaped them and tape recorded them talking about it and he's made a video admitting this quite recently, Tony. I've got you on tape, I've got you on video. Post a campaign my town against me when I've got this evidence against you, so to speak. <coughs> so you bet your life, they did have them in the boot. But then all of a sudden, now no, they've turned up in Rhonda's sitting room. Same poster campaign, posters in Rhonda's sitting room. On a photograph or Tony's using to subtly blackmail Dildo Dave again. Saying, there you are, and are sitting room, what's that bundle of papers in front of you? Well, that bundle of papers is the poster campaign pamphlets that were put up for the dog oin thing. So now, they're not in the boot of motorsports, what Tony's videoed, they're now in Rhonda's sitting room and he's taking photographs of them. With Dildo Dave sat behind them. So sly this cunt is. He's even fucking took photos of Dildo Dave. I bet you Dildo Dave didn't even know how photo was getting took. Took photos of him with them in front of him. What's going on? Between all of them who will fell out? What is going on here? With these uh, graffiti and poster campaigns that they've carried out? Because they've carried out some, haven't they? Tax on people's cars, heck down London. Living in London's windows, Dickie Hickey's mum's windows. Um, here's a one for you. Here's another one for you. What I haven't told you about, but I'm going to tell you. Guess who done Jamie Tinfoil's house? Let me make a cup of coffee. To get Brian into trouble. Guess who done it? When Ginger and Peter Face wrapped themselves around, Brian, guess who done Jamie Tinfoil's house. That's for sure. Can I make a coffee?
is he walking out wet, are you? Give us a look. Come here. Come here. What's the matter? You're not wet, are you? No, you're all right. Hey, they've done some damage around the country, haven't they? Like I say, living in London, Hector's, Jamie Tinfoil's, Gage and Angel's car, the Goins. And then I've had a number of attacks on myself, haven't I? By this crew. I haven't mentioned all of them, what they've done to me. Wait till they start talking on each other. Because that's what I think's going on at the minute. With Ginger and bird shit. I think Ginger, when he blames Davy Eslop and the Freemans for shutting his channel down, he's offering an olive branch to Tony. Tony, please. Now that you've put that photo out with Dildo Dave and them pamphlets, please, please, I'll never be your friend again. But it really put an olive branch out there because they're starting to shit bricks all grass on each other. Tony's got all the evidence on his phone. <sighs> and he... Tony's not happy about them going down to Scarborough and painting all of us walls of Scarborough. Tony the free-aimed child rapist. Tony this, Tony that. All of us Scarborough. Poster campaigns. Tony's not happy with his old boss. And Tony's got evidence of what his old boss and kebab flaps, remember. She's the money and the brains behind all this. You know she just took a back seat on the... Um, YouTube, she only took a back seat when I pointed out to her a long time ago, hey, you were the one writing me all them emails, not him. And it was her. And that's been pointed out to the police. So she's involved in this when they get nicked. She's got the jail kebab flaps. She's the brains and the money. She's the one on the phone to Tony offering 5,000 quid to tell lies. She's the one on the phone to... Um, Darren G, this was before she disappeared off YouTube. She was running the whole show until it was put on her. There's evidence against she for sending them fucking emails to me. And then she disappeared. Remember, she went on Mr. Humphrey's show because we're going to promote her after she, everything she'd done to me. They were going to promote her. She was going to become a podcaster. Um, and then she disappeared. When it was pointed out as evidence against she, you're the brains, you're the mastermind. I put it uh, uh, on loads of my videos. You're the brains behind all this. The peer master. And then she'd done one and Ginger took her on his own full day. But who is but the brains behind all this? It's her. She starts everything. So um, I would imagine when Ginger does get nicked, when they finally catch him, because he hasn't been questioned yet, been questioned yet, they would have been back to see me because I've reported them for a conspiracy to murder a child. I want to know whose child that is first, him and Furby. What's going on with there with that case conspiring to murder a school child? I don't think he's been questioned yet because he would have been back to see us. Just to put your mind to rest, well, it's none of your children or grandchildren, Mr Conroy, who they're threatening to murder. They've got to come back and put your mind at rest. <sighs> And I haven't been back yet. So it tells me he's, he's been had his card marked. Get out the country. While this is going on. Remember, we've got all these... When he's committed all these acts, he's been in Scotland. And we've got all these new hate crime laws in Scotland. The hate that's come out of that man on his videos. What, and then all in the laws change. Now you're in trouble, ye and her, Ginger. You and the brains, kebab flaps, the mastermind of all this fucking trouble on this side of dog. When she's, she, she's carrying out all these acts, when she's living under the Witness Protection Programme. <coughs> <coughs> I don't know how he's getting away with me, considering that he's all definitely under the Witness pr Protection Programme. I don't even know how he's ever thought he's working to get away with it. And you know what's going to happen when you're all in jail. That's kebab flaps as well, don't you? You know how many people are going to be after years once you're in there, considering the amount of enemies 
years use have accumulated throughout the country, mind. Throughout the fucking country. Once you're in there, uh, your nuts going to be coming from all directions, didn't you? So you've got double, you've got a double uh, problem. I mean, it's not only jail. You've got the problem of living in fucking jail and all the payers. Some of them women's prisons. The, the women who run the women's prisons. Fucking, I've, I've sent people to visit some of them. The naughty ones. I've often thought, oh, I am keeping you fucking bab flaps. Um. Yeah, the main ones who run the women's side of the prison. I'm not going to enter any names. I send people to visit them, close to me to visit them. Kebab flaps. So, just I'm just pointing that out before you get there. What um, what Marie should have done was, if I'd been an advisor. But like I say, that's the first time I've spoken to Marie. <coughs> the idea. Well, not spoken to her, I messaged. It's the first time I've actually directly messaged Marie um, back. That's the first time she's messaged me. But if I'd been in had any influence over Marie, I would have, I would have told her to answer, answer the questions at the police station. That's what I would have done. And getting a few things on record, such as... Not me, the only, I would have said, the only time I've disclosed anything that's on that Sarah's law was when I rang Beanie's social services department in Scotland. I would have gotten that on record in the interview, just to nail it, that you have disclosed it, but only to the social services of Scotland. I want to get run to her, so Beanie now has the full strength. No, for sure. This is when she got rid of pizza face, when she found out about Tony, my mum pizza face had to leave the house. And then no, oh, nobody's saying any, anything about each other. It's a maculate split and all that. I shut up about Tony. That's what the love center are when they've split up. Don't mention the Sarah's law. So, so Marie Howarth's not the only one who knows what's on the Sarah's law now. So does Beanie in our so in her in our, our social services department fucking person that she deals with. Um. Stinks this, like, fucking stinks this. How he's been allowed near fucking kids. With that form. He's a danger to kids with that form. Even though he's not convicted, he's still a danger. They've got some shit on I bet that's not the only kid stuff on his fucking um, Sarah's Law as well. I bet there's loads of fucking women stuff and fucking all sorts of shit on his Sarah's Law. But we'll find out at some point. But Beanie's aware of what's on it. And she's kept her fucking mouth shut. She just disappeared and said nothing about Tony. Even though she said it first hand. Off our, off our social services fella. Because didn't Tony have to leave the house that day? And then Pizza Face left her, was it a few days later? And it was all of our social services getting involved with Tony being at the house. Then they blagged everybody, didn't they? Can you remember? Well, social service has got the real Sarah's law about Tony off Marie. She sent him it. Get him out of the way on them children. Marie should have tell us, spoke about that side of it to the police on the interview. Because Marie has now got access to that interview. She's just got to tell us, I want to copy that interview. And she's got to be given a copy of it. Well, in that interview, surely the police have said things, although Marie has never answered any questions the police must have said why they've got her there and asked her questions about it she, mustn't they so it'll all be on the interview why Marie's getting arrested over Tony it'll all be in the interview so that's why I think Tony was shooting and bawling ah you're going into prison intimidating witnesses and all this shit for putting your fucking bail form online didn't make sense to me and then I thought about it. It's trying to stop her putting any of the paperwork online by frightening her before we even come to the paperwork. And the paperwork is really frightening about it as a police interview. 
because that'll fucking nail it, won't it? Even though she's not answering any questions. Police must say to her, right, we've got you in here for this. You've been disclosing details of that Sarah's law on Tony. They must have put that to her. Mustn't they? Because otherwise, that's why she's arrested, man. They must have put it to her at some point. So the interview will be self-explanatory if that's ever put on line. And that's what Tony doesn't want. That's why he's trying to terrify her before putting a bail sheet on line. Intimidating witnesses. Conroy's gone to prison. There's no saying I've intimidated him. He feels intimidated by me. He's been on the phone to the police. Showed, showed everybody on his live the the police number because it's a new incident he's reported. <laughs> Probably wrong in this cunt. <laughs> At least when I reported them, uh, Ginger was for a murder of a child. <laughs> what are wrong in this cunt? So he's reported us yesterday, claiming I've intimidated him. I've intimidated him, Mr Tough Guy, who will doorstep anyone. Um, or so he keeps saying, there's no saying, there's no saying how I'm intimidating him to the police. What's his life? He's reported us. Because I've put Marie's bill, bill thing online. He just doesn't want any of the paperwork online. He wants to be able to spin his narrative to his subs without any interference whatsoever. Um, but he's no claiming I'm intimidating him. How can he be intimidated to someone you're not even scared of? Who needs a bath? How can you be intimidated again from that person and from the start, all the videos he's made about me? How can he be claim no claim to the police that I'm intimidating them? Witness intimidation. Witness intimidation. <laughs> what a fucking fool. No, he's worried. This is for sure. He's worried a case that interview. What Marie's now got access to, she's got a phone us and the DNC and I want to copy that interview. And they've got a supplier with it. And he's worried, in case that interview goes online. And do you know what it is? It, it, they couldn't stop her putting the interview online as well as the bill sheet. They're hers. It's her legal paperwork. Um. And that's what definitely he's worried about. What's coming next after he's seen the bail sheet? What's coming next? I better scare her. And him. Well, let's tell you now, Tony. We ain't fucking scared of you one little bit. We don't feel intimidated by you like you do against us, like you're claiming to the police. That makes some sense. You're intimidated. No, you aren't intimidated when you were fucking carrying and fucking setting fireworks off. Etc. 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 All the little shit you were carrying out against us, your little knocking angel jobs, you didn't feel intimidated then, did you? But you're feeling intimidated now because I've put a bail sheet online. That case is going nowhere. You're just a lying cunt. Told you are. Yeah, so Beanie knows, Beanie knows for sure she'd make a good guest now for somebody to get into, to relaunch her podcast career. While things is hot on this topic, she is, she can nail it, can Beanie people. Because she got tell off, remember that's when she disappeared and she got tell off Tony and Paul to get offline then. Once she knew for sure, didn't she? I was always questioning who did do Beanie's house, wasn't I? Because with Tony and Peter Fierce doing everybody else and Peter Fierce being a black ops, um, I always questioned who done Beanie's. It's this mob, this gang that's fell out was one of them. But which one to blame each other for it, don't they? And I always thought it was Tony and Peter Fierce who done Beanie's. Just to blame motorsports and ginger, because that's what they do, do, the, these sly cunts. And then they moved into bed with her when she was terrified. 
if the 200 that they did do use and had her terrified and then moved into bed with her, the people who was actually attacking my house, that's rape. Because you know she, she's petrified and you've made her petrified and then you've took her to bed after you've gotten her petrified. As if you had some no protecting her. That's fucking rape. That's been carried out, yeah, by... And I've said this all along. They've done that. Pizza Face and Tony. That's why they can't fall out. Because of raped Beanie. Yeah, I don't think it was Ginger and Motorsports who've done Beanie Seuss. Who, who attacks all the women? That we know for sure. Who attacks all the women? That's right, these two. Katie Angel's car, they blow her fucking car up. Come in truth's mother. Went to her door, team handed. One old lady lives on her own. Decker Haggy's mum's house. Innocent old lady. Had her windows smashed and put out three times. Hey man, they must have terrified that old lady. For a good chunk of her life. Maybe it's a year or two. Living in fear and stress and everything that's went on on social media. They've destroyed that. No, I mean, Dicky Hickey. His mum's life. She's felt it the worst with all of them. I see an innocent victim. These cunts. These same cunts, yeah. And then it turns out for sure. A <coughs> Tony and Pizza Face are involved in doing Dog Ain's house. Poster campaign or whatever went on. Because there's the posters in Rhonda's sitting room and Rhonda's witness to it. And there's also two videos of the Mutai Dog Ain's house. Tony and Pizza Face on the video talking. Seeing that's dog going front door and da 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 da. I've got the videos. <laughs> uh, but Wanda, Rhonda's witness to all these attacks that Tony and Pizza Face carried out. She, she like, first hand witness to them. Um, for why? And know that, know that. That's why they were camping outside her back garden and whatnot, trying to intimidate her and threaten her. I took the demon, these two. And when you look at what they did to women, you've then got to ask yourself, did they threaten, did Tony threaten the parents of those children to get the charges dropped at court? And he was charged with raping. Did he intimidate the ch parents of the children? Because that's what's always been claimed. He never got off at court. He didn't get found not guilty. The stories got changed and the charges got dropped at the courts each and every time. So it never ever got resolved whether he raped the kids or not. All the evidence said he did. And then whatever, when the cops have given him the court, something's fucking changed. Something fucking changed and the charges got dropped. He didn't get fun not guilty. Would he interfere with the parents of the rape victims, Tony, do you think, if he was in trouble? Of course he fucking would. Of course he has, I see. Bunch of fucking animals we're dealing with, yeah. Kind of run social media. Um, tacking people's properties, tacking people's names and reputations and anybody that's attacking anybody. They've got no right to attack even Dickie Hickey. They've been on Dickie Hickey, they're still there at the court case. Can't let go of him. Still there, all of them, at the court case. Like, for the subs and we're still on his case, even though we've driven him to suicide, driven him to the mental hospital, we've now got him in court and we're all here. But he's, then none of them are getting the hits. Nobody's interested in the weather. Yeah, must have cost them more for their fucking petal money than they got off YouTube for their fucking hits. Because none of them got very many hits, even anybody's fucking interested in Dicky, fucking Dicky, any fucking further. And part of my, the minute few on social media, and that's dying off. So, where they're gonna move, who they're gonna move on to next to make that money, this crew. Fucking I, Ginger trying to make the peace with 
with Tony at the minute. It's not Tony who shot me channel, it's Davy Eslop and the Freemans. They're full of hatred. Full of fucking hatred. <laughs> You've seen the, heard the hatred coming to these pair of cunts over the past few years, haven't you? He's got a nerve to say they're full of hatred. Them people didn't even come online, man. Them people don't even respond to anything ginger or kebab flaps have put online about them. They've done the wise, took the wise decision not to respond. The biggest mistake you can fucking make is even to respond on social media because once you fucking start, that's it. The tin file heart brigade suit. Because it can. You can ask any tin file heart question of anybody on YouTube or social media because you're 300 mile away or 500 mile away or you're sat in your box room, you're something to drink on your own. Nobody can get to you. And you can ask anybody any fucking question, no matter how disrespectful, personal, private, no matter what it is, you can ask anybody whatever you fucking like on YouTube or social media. And get away with it. Well, you can't do that in real life. Do you know what I mean? So, so what you tin file hot brigade? All of them are their subs. It's all the same crew who got to think that in that mode, where they've got to think something's going on, yeah. Something must be going on, yeah. Something cannot not be going on, yeah. And they start digging and digging and digging and fucking any amount of them on YouTube, and Look what they've done to me and my family over the past years. Mr Humphreys and all them started it all off. But then it was picked up by the fellow Freemason, Ginger and his crew and his minions, won it? Eh. All the troubles I've had over the past couple of years has been involving Ginger and his fucking minions. And that was started by Humble, hum, Humphreys. It's never stopped to this date, is it? But I'm still here. Yeah. I'm still on top. <laughs> I think people are winning. And they're losing the battle between me and them. They may be winning battles elsewhere on other YouTubers and whatnot. But I think between me and them, um, what's the words? It's like the sword of truth. It sees you through it, everything. That's why I stick to you. I didn't budge from it. Unless, like I've said, if I tell any fucking wrongs or lies, it's either for security reasons, for fucking jest, or what are you? But when, I stick to, when I'm talking about the real stuff, I stick to fucking fact. Fucking fact. And what we're dealing with here is the biggest gang of scum. Now scum forms together. That's what you're seeing on social media. All the scum, the little Dave, Tony, Ginger, fucking you name it. You're seeing all the scum sticking together, but I'll end up falling out now. Before our very eyes have all fallen out. Grass Nietzsche off all these attacks. Tax year, tax year. And there's been some in there. If they get nicked over this, Tony sat there with all the evidence on his phone. Waiting again, super grass. Ginger shit in his cell now. Ginger shit in his cell now. Fucking hell, I when you can look at how many people they have attacked. If I've, I've missed any of you, tell us. Living in London. And Hector on the same night. That was definitely Peter Face and Tony were involved. I know that for sure. Fact, when Tony got back the following morning, this is how I out with him. A couple of things and reasons I know Tim. I've wondered for sure out him since then, but the first thing that indicated to me that it was Tony who'd done them things was this. He'd met up with somebody. Don't know who he met up with, on way, on the way. And they travelled to London. And the following morning, don't know what time it was, but the following morning, he rings, Barry rings him, and he's just fall, fell asleep, and he says to Barry, I've just getting in. I've been awake all night, travelling. I've just getting back from London. 
and he'd met somebody on the way down, but Barry didn't know who he'd met, met up with. He just, from the conversation that he'd had with Tony the following morning, Tony had getting back from London that morning, the following morning, when living in London and Hector's car got done. It was Barry who told, first told us. But then I spoke to Rhonda, and Rhonda knows about all the attacks that they were carrying out when they were staying at her house. When they'd done, um, when they carried out the attack on Jamie Tinfoil, that's where they went straight back to Rhonda. So I right, we've just done them, blah, 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 and tell Rhonda all about, about the attack on Jamie Tinfoils. Who was with them, blah, 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 blah. How they done it. So she's not only witness, Rhonda's not only witness to the attack on um, Doug Hines, she's also witness to the attack on Diggy Higgies, because she took took them to the Asda in Newcastle for the first posters. That's what I was going to come to. See these posters? I don't know the timings of if yet, yet. I need to think about things, because this is just coming to us. When he come to my farm, Tony, and Rhonda took him to that Asda for to print some posters up for Dickie Hickey's poster campaign. He didn't have a clue about posters, because this is how I know. When he come back from the house, I think he had a dozen pamphlets to put up on the bins of outside Dickie Hickey's house, and he paid a fiver each for them at the Asda photography fucking place. 50 or 60 quid, folk do the put a fiver each. And he come back telling us the price he'd Showed us what he getting and the price he'd paid. I went fucking say 50, 60 fucking quid. They have pictures, photographs, man, you daft cunt. Um, if you're going to do that, you should have gotten yourself pamphlets. Much cheaper, 50 pence each or something. So he didn't have a fucking clue at that point about pamphlets, getting them printed, or what. At that point, when Dickie Hickey's got done, he didn't have a fucking clue. Because he would have went and gotten the pamphlets straight away. I think he did eventually go and get pamphlets after that. But at that point in time, he didn't have a clue about pamphlets. Because he went and paid a fiver each for fucking photographs. Thinking he'd getting pamphlets. And now this for fact. So when did Doug Hines happen? Was it prior to Dickie Hickey's first getting done? Or was it afterwards? Because, because... Though I suppose it could have been afterwards, I. But I thought it was before, before he done Dickie Hickey's. Because he didn't have a clue how to deep, get pamphlets printed up. Because he would have done that, he was said again to the Asda. And paid all that money. Um, so he couldn't have knew on the Dog Iron one either then, could he? Because he would have just getting them done at the same place. So was the Dog Iron one done before Dickie Hickey's or afterwards? I think Dog Iron was done first, before I've even met them. Because... Because that's when Peter Face come to my shed, didn't he? When he did some documentary on Doug Owen, was it sometime around that time they done it? And then, but anyway, all I know is Tony didn't have a clue about pamphlets. He wouldn't have paid a five each for them at the Asda for Dickie Hickey's. Um, so I just, no man, dodgy dildo Dave's turned up afterwards, and he. They would have an Adam now, the time and if what went on, yeah. When Dildo Day was at Rhonda's. What I do know is, Rhonda says, Tony, and you can believe Rhonda, Tony and Pizza Face had them bundle of papers before Dildo Days arrived. So what was going on with them? I'd have an hour. And what I do know for a fact is, Tony's saying he's got on tape recording and video them papers and motorsports boot of his car when they met them and he has that at Scotland. He's videoed all the evidence and tape recorded motorsports saying I've got just getting five thousand pamphlets printed for Dugoyne. So they must have getting some off them. Otherwise why is motorsports even showing them them um, posters to be on video and on audio? So they must have getting some off them because there they are sat with them in their sitting room well, run a sitting room and they're living there. When they've got Dildo, they've come to see them. So they've definitely done 
dog owns. There's no getting away from it. Tony and Pizza Face. They've definitely done Jamie Ten Foils. They've definitely done Dickie Hickey's Mum's House. Punk Poster Campaign. All the evidence is there. What he's putting pictures of the actual posters out for when he's been involved in doing that attack on Doug Owen, I don't know. And our motorsports is uh, Ginger's making moves to be befriend Tony again in his latest video. Shitty cell, panicking. Saying this has nothing to do with Donna. You know, Donna the brains. Donna's the brains behind all this. She sent me all them emails telling me everything she was going to do to me. If I went on Dickie Hickey's show, that's what the excuse they've used anyway. And they've done it. Um, so she's got some explaining to do when the cops do get her over them emails, what she sent to me. And she, eh. Yeah, this is why they have a go at Ronda, because they're now Ronda's witness to loads of shit that they have done. They have Peter Fierce and Tony, they know what she's witness to. He put the all fell out now. Ginger, Motorsports, Tony, Peter Fierce, Beanie, Ronda and Marie. Everyone's fallen out with everybody who was involved in the attacks and the Sarah's law check. What's going to come of it all? And now this much, that interview, police interview with Marie's, will nail, nail it. Why she's locked up over disclosing the details of Tony. That's why he's worried about. That's why he's gone mad about the bail sheet, because it proved he had her locked up for that charge. <clears throat> he doesn't want to... He's blanking his gaslighting his subs, you see. He's trying to say it's all something else and she's telling lies. She's locked up for breach of... See, when you get the Sarah's Law done, you sign a thing saying that you will not disclose them details what's in the Sarah's Law to anybody. And that's what he's got her locked up for, disclosing them. How she, could she be locked up otherwise? But the bail sheet nails it and I interview will also nail it. Right, I'll just keep it short for now. I'm just having a rabble on. Exciting this. This is the sort of stuff you want on YouTube. Amongst all this dark side of the podcasters, isn't it? Where they're all grassing each other. And they're coming out saying, I've been taping you and I've been videoing you and... And there's a new photograph come out. No, it's Dildo Dave. I've been videoing and taping you too. You bet your life he's got tape recorded Dildo Dave in that sitting room as well. <clears throat> Whatever's went on with them posters. <clears throat> but uh, this is serious. This one, you had one poster campaign's an out. Very little jail, six months, if you look, you know what I mean? It's, it's not a big major criminal offence. But you put all of them together. Living in London, Gates of the Angel... Hector, Decker Heggie's mum's who's three times, Dog Oin, Scarborough, the amount of places that's been tacked and graffitied up, etc., 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 does make it serious. And they've all been getting carried out by Ginger and his gang, his minions, the whole lot of them. All them attacks and everything else that's went on on the dark side of YouTube has been carried out by Ginger, Kebab Flaps, and people they've paid. From day one, people they have paid with their money cause all this trouble. The whole lot, even though they've all fell out now and all arguing amongst each other, um, and when they've been a gang together, they have carried out every single attack on this side of dark side of YouTube. These folks, these folks are behind all that against everyone else. And then you look at their form who's attacking everyone else? Their form, gang of fucking bacons, man, bacon brigade. Look at fucking humble in his fucking child abuse fucking shit. Biggest fucking record of child abuse on fucking YouTube. Then the number two one for biggest numbers, but but got the worst is Tony. Three times child fucking rape. Graffing together, these two graffing together. 
against everyone else, casting judgment. You're bad and we're going to out you. These two. Think of other people. These two, when they're a gang together. And Dildo Dave, who kills old women, robs them of their fucking um, life savings and kills them off. And that scum he couldn't listen, but all of them together are casting judgment on everyone else on YouTube as if they've run the show and just to build their channels up. Just to build their fucking channels up. I'm the laugh on them. Well, it's on them. Tony's talking. Tony's got the evidence. And you're all getting nicked.